Welcome back. My name is Ray Cornelia. Well, the last several weeks have been pretty hectic around the Cornelia residence. Um, had out of town family guests staying with us. Um, whole bunch of stuff going on, man. Just been busy. Anyway, uh, happy to be back on YouTube. Um, I found out something very interesting. Um, I was looking at the analytics part of my YouTube channel. And I realized that over 5% of my viewers are female. So now I can't say, hey guys, welcome back. So it's, uh, welcome back everyone. Anyway, pretty interesting. And I noticed that uh, John over at NYC CNC uh, noticed the same thing on his channel too. So he pointed that out and uh, I discovered it as well. Pretty interesting. Anyway. I'm happy females are interested in machining. I don't know if they're watching for their husbands or if they're just interested in it themselves, but uh, happy to see that. Uh, so I'm going to have to start catering to the female audience as well. Um, maybe uh, some other types of projects. Who knows? Anyway, um, I'd like to share with you uh, something else that happened. Um, I had a massive computer crash. Um, I lost several hours of video, um, pictures, files. I got burned. Um, I should have had a um, external hard drive backup, which I didn't. Uh, I just trusted my computer. And I'm a little upset about it because I had a visitor. Uh, as you saw in Randy's video, Randy Richard came and spent the afternoon with Philip and I. And I lost all of that video. And Randy, I'm sorry, man. Um, I try to recover it. Uh, Phil tried. So whatever you have uh, is what we got on that visit. Anyway, uh, Randy is a very interesting guy. Um, he's done a lot of really cool stuff. Um, his knowledge is endless in many areas. Um, if you didn't subscribe to his channel yet, please do. Uh, Randy's always got something going on. He's got some really cool uh, machines, projects. Um, neat guy, um, just um, endless amount of knowledge and information. Uh, Randy, I really enjoyed the visit. Um, we got to get together again soon. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get up to your shop sometime here in the near future. Anyway, uh, Randy also came bearing gifts, and I'll share that with you, um, and I appreciate that. Uh, so, uh, back to this computer thing, it's resolved. I ended up building a new computer. Um, so I haven't had any videos or anything out on YouTube for two or three weeks now, and I apologize for that. This is totally my fault. Um, it's not going to happen again. I have two backups now of all my stuff. Um, in this video, um, I'm also going to share a package I received from Stan over at Bar Z Industries. And um, uh, interestingly enough, I've been getting a lot of requests to um, show machining on the closing. Um, I didn't realize it, but I guess the closing doesn't get much airtime. So I'm going to have to change that because this little uh, 10 by 36 is a really nice lathe to use. As a matter of fact, whenever Philip comes over, he always goes to this one. Um, he just likes using this lathe and it threads like a dream. Uh, so I'm going to try to do a little bit more machining videos using the closing. Um, also, I want to talk about um, the YouTube machining community. I gotta thank you guys, man. You guys are some of the best people I've come in contact with. Uh, the videos you're putting out are awesome. Uh, great informational, great ideas. Um, you guys are really good people, always wanting to help, to answer just about any question. Um, and I just wanna thank you guys too. Uh, I, appreciate, I appreciate all the input, all the comments, um, all the suggestions, and um, just the interaction with people I've never known in the past, are just, it's just awesome. And I, and I want to thank you guys, and I appreciate it. Uh, in the video um, after this, um, I, uh, Philip and I make a little uh, Nova Arm uh, mag base. And um, I got a request, a couple requests on how I did it. It's pretty simple. So uh, sit back and enjoy. And thanks for stopping by once again, man. So when uh, Randy came to visit, 
Uh, he brought a couple really neat uh, gifts for me. And uh, Randy, thank you. I appreciate that. That was very thoughtful. Um, as some of you may know, Randy makes these um, no-spill oil cans for cutting oil. Um, and I'll tell you what, man, he does a nice job. Check this thing out. Uh, it's electric soldered. Um, he flared the copper tubing here. Um, it's a pretty heavy duty can. I'm not sure what was in here in the beginning, but uh, it, it's pretty well done. Uh, I'm going to be putting some uh, good quality dark cutting oil in here um, and putting this bad boy to use. Very nice. Uh, Randy does a very nice job on these. He makes some uh, tuna cans, uh, chicken cans, uh, this may be beans, who knows. Anyway, um, excellent job, Randy. Um, also, um, he makes these uh, facing and turning tools. Um, if you follow our channels, uh, he sent some of these to Chuck outside Screwball, and Chuck identified what insert this is. But basically, he makes these, and uh, when Randy was here, we were messing with this, and we had some hard chrome we were cutting with it, and it was doing a really good job. Um, so you have uh, basically two corners you can use on these, um, one side only. Um, this one, of course, facing, and this one for turning. Um, he supplied a generous amount of inserts, uh, both coated and uncoated. So um, on my next hammer, I'm going to uh, give this bad boy a shot on the 17.4 pH stainless and see how it performs. Anyway, I'll get some video of that. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you, Randy. Um, these are really going to come in handy. I appreciate it. And um, I'm going to be using these things, that's for sure. So uh, let's move on to the package I received from Stan. Next up is the package I received from uh, Stan Zinkowski from Bar Z Industrial. Uh, let me point out, he's quite the comic. Ray and Phil's Hammer Depot. Thought you guys enjoy that. I got a kick out of it, Stan. Thanks, buddy. I got to show off Stan's packaging. I think he's trying to outdo us all. Um, may appear to be a standard priority mailbox, but wait till you see how he packaged this box of goodies. I had opened it before and I packaged it exactly the way I received it. So He's sure uh, repurposing and putting to use all the packaging material, which I believe some of this came from when he bought the Square Master from Tom Lipton. He repurposed some of this packing material, but check this out. Fits perfectly in the box. He filled up every void, every space, Stan, you did a great job, man. Look at this. Even has machining done to it, so it fits the top of that bottle perfect. Anyway, um, get everything out here. Okay. Stan sent me a really nice note. Um, he sent some, some of this stuff for Philip and I together. So, there we go. Okay, let's see. First up, move some of this packaging material that I will possibly repurpose in the future as well. Uh, Stan had a whole bunch of these um, conversion charts made up, and they're really nice. He's got, um, he's got all the fractions and decimals on this one side and then of course he has his uh, whether you decide to buy a part or make one and this spreadsheet um, a lot of thought went into this and it's pretty true anyway uh, he sent me a bunch of these uh, full size and minis um, I will definitely use these I use them all the time because I cannot remember these conversions um, he sent a set for myself and a set for Phil. Excellent job, Stan. These things are really neat. Um, on to the next item. So Stan and I were uh, talking back and forth about surface plates. Um, he's going to be getting a uh, new, larger surface plate. 
and he offered his up to me, um, which I really appreciate. But during that time, I had already ordered one on Amazon. So I got myself a 24 by 24 three inch grade B surface plate. And uh, Stan and I were talking and he said, hey, I have a 10 gauge that I received from Tom Lipton some time ago. Um, I'd like to pass it on to you because he's upgraded. He's gotten some different uh, gauges for his squares. And he goes, are you interested in it? I said, sure. I said, under one condition. I said, uh, if I can't get anything to zero with it, you got to visit me in the insane asylum. And uh, he didn't answer me, but I take that as a no. So anyway, um, Tom gave this to Stan some time ago. It's an Alina, and it's a tense, it's a tense indicator. And look at that. That thing is beautiful. Um, I haven't attempted to use this yet. My accuracy is nowhere close to what this gauge is uh, capable of reading. Um, it is really nice. Actually, Stan, it has a good feel. It has a good feel to it. It has a forward and reverse uh, switch here. Um, it's in perfect condition. Um, Stan mentioned he had sent it in for uh, cleaning uh, and calibration, and uh, it's in beautiful shape. Um, I really appreciate this. I mean, this is one of the nicest indicators I own now. Um, it comes with um, some of the holders, so you can put it at different angles, of course. And um, I'm almost afraid to use this thing for fear, for fear that everything I make is way out. <laughs> so anyway, uh, in some upcoming videos, you're going to see this thing in use. Um, thank you, Stan. I really appreciate it. Uh, next up is Anchor Lube, of course. I have a generous supply of Anchor Lube. Uh, Philip and I have been using this stuff, and it's working pretty good, man. Um, we thinned it out and tried it on some aluminum. It works out very well. Uh, these guys are, I'm supposed to share these with buddies, and they're in there pretty good. So I'll pull them out. But everyone knows what it looks like. Everyone's starting to use it. Damn, Stan, what you do? Glue it in here? So anyway, I'll mess with that later. But Stan, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, Philip, thanks you. Um, hopefully he'll be by later today, and I could share some of this stuff with them. Um, thank you, man. Okay, now for the video. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I've got a lot of viewer requests on this little Noga stand. Um, this is not a Noga stand, this is a Ray stand. And uh, in this video, uh, Philip, Mundy, and I are going to show you how to make one. Simple. It's a, uh, oh man, that's a strong magnet. Uh, Rare earth magnet, piece of an uh, inch and a half, uh, steel, stainless, whatever you got. This is an old handle off of a Jeep console, quarter 20 stud. And uh, we're going to embed the magnet in the bottom. We're going to turn it down just for aesthetics, put this in there. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And this is all you're going to need to do it, except for a lathe. So uh, let's move over to the lathe and get started. All right, we're going to start machining down the um, the bar stock. What do we got? Inch and a half. Earthquake test. <laughs> You're going to make people throw up, Bill. Quit <laughs> that. So we're going to chuck up a piece of inch and a half. Uh, I think this is 12L14. Just something we uh, grabbed. So I'll get the camera positioned so we can. Um, See a little bit of machining going on here. So let me reposition this camera. So what are we doing? You're going to skim that, I think, and maybe face it. Well, let's face it, and then we'll turn it to just a regular, you know. Yeah, and then you have to cut down your neck size, whatever. We'll, we'll get the scale off it, and then we'll take some measurements of the old one to make it just like that. Okay, all right, that's fine. Go for it. I 
think maybe you need a little anchor loop on there for a nice polished finish. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, so take down your uh, neck to like one inch. So, what about 500 thou? 1463. Yeah, so take it down to an inch. 1463, yeah, I'll take an inch. So, down to an inch and inch in. Yep, inch in and an inch down. So, I forgot what it was. That means you got to make a square. 1.463. We'll just start, we'll start hogging into it. Um, let's do this first. You have a sharpie? Yep. I'm just going to rough it in an inch. Assistant with my sharpie. Blue. Thank you. And it just has to be close, I guess. Yeah, I know. It doesn't have to fit anything. It's aesthetics. It being fairly warm and we're five thousandths away from one inch, so close enough. That's good for me. Uh, take your chamfer and soften up your edges. and. Oh, you play? oh, so no more earthquake tests. No more earth. Okay. No more earthquake tests. All right. Okay. So we're going to center drill it. Um, this is what the clearance hole for the stem of the Noga mount. Was it 5 sixteenths? 5 sixteenths, yeah. Let's double check it. Oh, you want to go fancy. These are kind of nice. Where'd you get these? So Monday. Ah. I can't, and then the I can't, depth, see, I can't uh, see if it's in the camera. So it's 5 sixteenths. We're going to fill the depth. 
that's yeah. that's a half inch. So we'll go all the way. We can actually go past. You can go past we because we're going to we're going to embed. Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of want to do just so that it's. It's up to you then. Measure. Okay. Yeah, use we'll, your. We'll do a blind. We'll do a blind hole. Um. I can't see. Is it in there? I mean, yeah, I it's in there. Okay. You're, you're in. I can't see. Okay. So we'll do at least inch and a half. We'll do inch and a half. Okay, do an inch and a half. Inch and a half, that'll give me a little bit to stick out. So we'll go over all these dimensions when we're done. So if you guys want to make one of these, uh, we'll give you a better baseline and then all this guessing. Ouch. What was that? You locked the quill, not the tailstock. Oh, well, I don't know. It's There you go. It's not the, uh, the mighty web. Yeah, I know it's not the mighty web. It's the mighty grizzly. Finish drill with a letter O drill bit. Back down to inch and a half. Make sure you get your speeds and feeds correct. Speeds and feeds. A little anchor juice. And you go straight to the point. There it is. Beauty eight. All right, let's give All it. Right. Let's give it a try. Where's the? Uh, oh, it's in your. No door. arms on the workbench. Oh, look at that! Wait for it. <laughs> that wasn't even a reamer. How about that? It's not bad. All right. Well, uh, I think it's time to uh, whack it off. Let's. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna make it purdy. All right. Make it purdy. You start it. So we'll go say two inches eyeball. Alright, close enough for me. Oh, son of a bitch. I moved the wrong handle. Alright, let's do that again. Okay.
we'll get set up, uh, get it in there to uh, counter bore for the magnet. Show us the part, Phil. I can't see it. There you go. Where's it? Right there? No, nah, that's not focusing on it. All right, we'll get set up and bring it back. Yeah. So we'll start it, say somewhere about there. Set your DRO. Get it close. And zero that. And go just under half. Come in with an end mill and finish it off. Teacher relief gonna be. I don't know. Uh, like twenty five now. Do uh, it's up to you. However deep you want to go, just I'd relieve it a little bit. All right, I'll do it by hand, by eye, about twenty-five thousandths or so. All right. And I let's want to use. Let's just use so we get a good uh, shoulder. Yeah, that's fine. Use the forty-five. Yeah. That's, I'm just gonna come into the center. This may not work though because there's not enough it relief will. on the bottom. Same one I used for mine. Oh yeah, there's just enough relief. Okay, so let's do it. Freehand and in. We need final dimensions later. Yeah, that's looking good. Put the magnet in. Go for it. See if it fits. Trial fit up. 
See if I have all my fingers when we're done. <laughs> Makes me nervous. <laughs> you just don't want another blood bluster, do you? Yeah, match those. Okay, that's that. Let's see if it lines up flat. There, go ahead and show that. All right, hold on. All right, there it is with the rare earth magnet in there. It's right across cool. the bottom, yeah. We probably got what about a thou clearance, yeah. if that. Which is good. Yeah. All right. We're gonna cut the aluminum handle down uh, and get ready for knurling. So we're gonna refer to our uh, diameter on our knurling charts. Hey Ray, what do you need? We're going to cut a 21 pitch knurl. So we're going to bring it down to 924 and 6 tenths. For a perfect neural. So let's get at it. So we get the neural perfect. So yeah, that's just... looking good. That one's going to look a lot better than my phone. Uh, 925, 23, 24. 924. Close enough. Should be good enough. I mean, we were at the couple yeah, six, so yeah. A couple thousand, so we're good. You want to try anchor lube for the neural? Yeah, sure. All right. Go for it. Don't eat my brush. <laughs> Looks pretty damn good. Yeah. I'll take it. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank everyone for all their comments, likes, subscriptions, and thumbs up. See you next time.